Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle, and today, my friend, is a very, very special day. It is, let's see, 6.34 in the morning on a Sunday, and typically, you would not catch me up this early on a Sunday, okay? It's the Lord's Day, it's day of rest, Sabbath. But anyways, the reason why I'm up is because I'm finally getting to do Muddy Princess, which for those of you who don't know and didn't watch my vision board video, which, you know, you need to do that. Um, one of my goals was to do the Muddy Princess like obstacle course. It's a mud run basically. So that is why I'm up this early because my sister and I are volunteering. So we get to run the course at eight this morning and then later in the afternoon we get to volunteer and help other people. We should honestly be gone probably in 10 minutes, seven at the latest because it takes half an hour to get there. Uh, so yeah, let me hop off this camera so I can make us some smoothies and I figured why not take y'all along to make the smoothie, you know, we're just gonna do a little vloggy vlog. So yeah, I'll meet you in the kitchen, all right? matching orange wait where's the lens i want to make sure i'm looking at the people okay there they are i'm driving so yeah we're going to the place it's 7 16 we left late we were supposed to leave by like 7 at the latest so yeah we shall see y'all there We are here, but we're running very late. It is like 7:52. <laughs> we are supposed to be here by 7:30, so we can start running at eight. And if we don't get, if we don't start running at eight, we don't get to, we don't get to run. <laughs> so we have to run. Okay, bye. Here we are. Yeah, I need sunscreen. This is cute. Gabby's putting on her sunscreen. Gotta I'm stay. <laughs> I know. Or skin cancer. Or wrinkles. Dropping our bags off. They're already warming up over here without us. I know. Okay, y'all, we did it. Woo woo. Rocking the, the medals. We just wanted to come on real quick and give y'all a review and show us what's in our little goodie bags before we go off to volunteering. But first, I want to show you guys my battle scar. Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> So on the very first obstacle, we had to jump right into like a muddy like water pit and going in, I accidentally slipped. And so I like reached my hand out to like grasp at something and I grabbed and yelled, but I accidentally scratched her arm while I was doing it. It took it like a G. No, she didn't. She it's was my a cry battle baby scar. about it. I wasn't a cry baby. Well, so now that you saw my battle scar, now we're gonna go ahead and unpack our little goodie bags because, oh, Chile. They gave us these goodie bags that look like this. So let's go ahead and, and show them. What's that? Uh, 150 off 
dollars Code Muddy Princess for a fitness retreat. We'll show them at Fort in Fort Lauderdale or something. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and then what else is there's something else on here too? On the back, keep your phone safe and your hands free. Oh, it's like a phone carrier thing. I think it's like waterproof oh. or something on the back. You come for that. They also gave us these crowns at the beginning. Oh, yeah. I wasn't feeling that though, so um, I didn't put it on. Oh, yeah, and they gave us like sunglasses. Maybe? Oh, oh, they did. Uh, they yeah. gave us the sunglasses, the crowns, and one other thing. Oh, yeah. And the um, bare hands hand sanitizer spray. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. I'm gonna be rocking these later as we're volunteering. I know, and then a Muddy Princess sticker. What else is in here? And then they also gave us these like coffee things. It's a oh. super cold brew, um, caffeine, 250 milligrams, dairy free. It's it's just like unsweetened black coffee though. It doesn't really have flavor or anything. So, mm. I mean, like you could. Pour it. You can make your own thing when you get home, I guess, but I'm gonna have to add some cream to it. Yeah. And then at the end, once we finish the race, this is dirty because, you know, I was dirty, but they gave us these sparkling drinks. Yeah. They were clearly advertising because they had us all take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we got free drinks, though. So. And it's pretty yummy. What's I didn't taste mine yet. It's um, cold pressed citrus immunity, purified water, orange, pineapple, mango, and coconut. And then it's also paired with. Lemon, ginger, acerola, cherry, probiotic, zinc, and vitamin D. Yeah. Oh, but we should actually give you guys like a review of the run, just in case it's you're actually interested. actually pretty good. Yes, and you actually just interrupted what I was trying to tell the people. Anyways, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Oh, whatever. Um, we're just gonna tell you guys about our experience because unfortunately, Originally, I wanted to have like my mom maybe take some pictures of us, maybe some B-roll of us running, but I went online last night and it was like, you're not supposed to have any spectators because of COVID, but tell me why we get here and there's people spectating. And especially guys too. There was like a there couple of guys. There was supposed to be like no men. And well, the men couldn't be on the course. The course. Like they weren't allowed to be course. on the course. Only at the beginning and end. But there was some of the men were like walking through the course with the woman. They weren't doing any of the activities, but it was like they weren't even supposed to be there. And there's definitely some spectators here. Like people have brought their lawn chairs. They brought their little kids, and they're just sitting. So I'm kind of like mad about that because I'm like, we follow the rules, but whatever. But how was your experience? It was um, fun. I thought, honestly, you we didn't really train for it at all. Like, I feel like you don't have you don't have to be like super in shape to do it. It's pretty accessible to everyone because it's like mainly courses with just like little stretches of like road in between that you have to like walk or run, and like you know the stuff. It's meant to like challenge you a little bit, but it's nothing that you really wouldn't be able to do. Yeah. There was this other girl we met. She was so sweet. I know. And um. She, the only one she really had trouble with that she didn't like was, was climbing the tires. the tires, yeah. But she made it through, and, like, people helped her and were cheering her on. So it's definitely something, like, you could take your time. Like, most people were not running. Most yeah, people were walking. Exactly. As were we. The only reason I jogged was because Gabby was trying to <laughs> I get me really to wanted to jog. <laughs> That's the only reason I jogged. But very accessible. I think online it says they have anywhere from, like, 18 to 22 obstacles throughout. And it only took us, what, like an hour and 45 minutes, maybe? Somewhere I don't even around think there. it was maybe like an hour and a half to get through the whole course, which was like three miles or something like that. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend you definitely get muddy. Yeah, muddy so, and wet. <laughs> yeah, you get muddy and wet. Um, so definitely make sure you come prepared to do that if you ever think about going. Yeah, and... like we just bought some cheap shoes from Walmart before we came because we didn't want to ruin our own, like... Yeah, you don't you don't want to wear anything you care about. Your shoes will be ruined. You will never yeah. be able to wear those shoes ever again. <laughs> and so. bring an extra pair for afterwards. Yeah, because she forgot. Yeah. I brought everything except the shoes. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good experience all in all. I would say 10 out of 10. I would 100% come back. No, I would say like 8 or 9 out of 10. It would have been better if we could bring spectators, but you know, it's COVID, so whatever. Honestly, I wish some of the obstacles would actually be a little bit harder. That's what I was Like, I thought it was too. almost too easy. I feel like they could have upped the difficulty level a little bit and people still would have been able to do it. Even if you had to, you know, use a little more teamwork or whatever. Yeah. 
that was the nice thing. Like, people were really helping each yeah. other. Yeah. Like, even despite, I know, like, COVID or whatever, but people would still, like, help strangers if they saw that they, like, needed help getting through it. So, I thought it was fun. But, yeah, that's it for now. Now, for the rest of the day, we have to volunteer from 11 to, like, Four, I think. Yeah, something like that. So or we're gonna do that. I think. Yeah, I'll try to capture some actual um, footage. footage of what some of the courses look like if we're on a course or something. But yeah, after that, we'll see what happens. We'll probably go to dinner after that. Yeah. So maybe I'll vlog that too, just for fun. Okay. All right, y'all, so I got placed at the water station and baby, let me tell you, do you see this tent? Do you see what I'm covered by? Can we talk about being favored by the Lord, okay? Can we talk about just being blessed and anointed? Can we talk about having a friend in Jesus? Come on, can we talk about being the one that Jesus loves? Like, yes, I am covered. And I, I don't have to stand out in the hot sun. I'm trying to tell y'all, if you drink from the well that never runs dry, you will overflow with abundance, okay? Like, yes. No, but for real, it's been really fun volunteering so far. Like, all the ladies are just very nice, and it's really cool to just be able to, like, encourage them and root them along as they run past. So I'm having a great time, and I say, you know, if you ever get the opportunity to volunteer for Money Princess, definitely do it. It doesn't take a lot from you. And hey, you get a free ticket out of it as well, so why not? Hey y'all, so we made it home and um, Gabby and I hopped into the shower. And now, well, we didn't, I didn't wash my hair yet. So if you're looking at it, yes, it still looks crazy, but you know, I'm gonna do that later. Um, but we were hungry, so uh, now we're going to this place called Joe's Farm Grill. It's um, a local farm to table restaurant. It's so good, the food is super fresh. So we're gonna go there to treat ourselves. And then after that, this vlog will pretty much be over because I'm tired, so I'm probably gonna sleep for a couple hours, not gonna lie, so <laughs> let's go.